asks the daughter who is on the phone if she's going to get off the phone pretty soon. And the daughter gives her a look, such as you would direct towards someone you were prosecuting for a heinous crime. <laughs> crabby in, in the winter time. It just happens. The good feelings of, of Christmas are all past now, and, and, and people aren't afraid to express their crabbiness, howliness, moodiness, irritation, whatever you want to call it. Crabbiness is a sort of a hedge against outright rage. So <laughs> that's, that's what this is. Um, those pleasant people who were polite to everybody and then they took an automatic rifle into a Burger King, you see, they needed to get crabby. <laughs> they needed to set a backfire against this, against this, this rage of theirs. And, and, and so people, so people got a little bit crabby. Darlene in the Chatterbox Cafe, someone walked up and asked if she would warm up their coffee. She said, sure, how about I piss in it? And, <laughs> say that to patrons. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. She said, I'm out of here. She was gone. She recovered, recovered eventually. Pastor Nephist was in kind of a crabby mood. A woman called up the church, as they will, and, you know, asked if she could have some money uh, to buy groceries. She said, groceries? You don't need groceries. You need to do some sit-ups, is what you need to do. How about we pay you a nickel per sit-up and, uh, and do some deep knee bends as well. And when you Get a hundred dollars worth, come down here, we'll give you some money for the groceries. <laughs> and that's the news from Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong. All the men are Three hundred and fifty days of sunshine a year in Tucson. That includes uh, Good night, sweetheart. It's time to go.